We're on a journey across the city, looking at illegal blood sports that thrive in secret in lawless Los Angeles, California. Kitty fights have already reached the popularity that in olden days was reserved for activities like dog fights. This shocking footage was filmed by kitty fighting organizers themselves. These crude scenes are the reality of the streets of LA. It is estimated that in Long Beach, California alone, there's at least one kitty fight taking place every day. This activity first came to the light of the mainstream media after this video leak and was posted online. Here we see one of the heads of the Devil's Paw Gang talking about the sport. It's like in the jungles, yeah, I hear you, buddy. My name is Bob Bean Bada Bean, and I breed kittens for illegal street fighting purposes. Been doing this since I was 14, 15 years old. It's a big business, you, you understand? You hear me? Everybody gets their little kittens together and they get smashed on by tiger here if you're as ferocious as you can be as tiger here you got the heart of a kitten yeah go and growl right there and i'll tell you right now the cool part about it is this little fucker right here in about the couple months he's been living paying my mortgage those couple months and i have a fat ass house but i'm being still a large today and is considered one of the most dangerous men in America. One of our reporters was able to contact and secretly film a meeting with one of the local kitty fights organizers in the city of Long Beach. What are you trying to do? You know, I've been trying to get in. You know, it takes a lot of money to get in, right? You already know I got the money. I'm kind of out of the game right now, but I can connect you with one of my homies, you know. He is a guy that makes everything happen. Getting into this game is not an easy task, but we were able to get plenty of information out of him. The contact that he provided us with is an actual kitten breeder and a local organizer in the city of Long Beach. That, you know, runs one of the places around here in Long Beach. He's got his shit straight. All right, I want to meet this guy. All right, I'll set you up. So what can I do for you today? Kush, lean, blow? This is local drug dealer, pimp, and kitty fight organizer, Nasty Nate. He will be the link between us and the underworld. It takes money to make money. How much you got? How much is it going to take for me to get in? It depends. I mean, you got the lower end. Uh, higher end is going to cost like 50000 Lower end is going to cost probably like fifteen. After this meeting was recorded, we were able to convince Nate to give us an interview. We told him that we were fascinated by the world of kitty fighting and wanted to produce a video to promote the sport. Listen to his testimony as he explains his experiences and aspirations with this activity. What a douche. Uh, I've been doing it since I was 13, so about 45 years now. I come from a long line of uh, breeders, so pretty much... Uh, my dad, my uncle, my grandpa, we all did this. It's one of my best fighters right here. <laughs> Fury. Hasn't half of your family been in jail already? Um, it's here and there. I mean, you only have one life to live. So why not? So when you go visit them, do they encourage you to stay in this type of business? It doesn't matter. I like doing what I do, so. It is what it is. Is it profitable enough for you? Um. I haven't had the chance to go to school, get a good job, because I do what I do. So I guess so, yeah. This is all I know. My son is kind of getting into it, but uh, I don't encourage it. I wish they could, uh, you know, live normal lives, be lawyers, doctors, but um, the, apple, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, so we'll see. As you would expect, we betrayed his trust and went directly to local authorities. We provided police forces all the information they needed to arrest this bastard. The 
this is a perfect example of a dealer in a community next to a school. Um, we treat drug, uh, the supply of drugs very, very seriously. Um, we receive a lot of information from the public and our crime and disorder partners and we are committed and this is a demonstration of that commitment. Although Nate wasn't charged with kitty fighting related charges, you can now rest assured he is rotting in jail for all the other illegal activities he was involved with, all of those seriously less cute. If you suspect of illegal kitty fights taking place in your community, inform your local authorities about it. Let's all help stop this in your main practice. And now, just for the hell of it. Yeah.